Hi everyone, welcome back to ITPK in Microsoft Intune tutorial series. As we have previously created a tutorial on how to set up Microsoft Defender antivirus using Microsoft Intune. So today I have decided to create another video about Microsoft Defender antivirus that explains that how we can exclude files or folder path from Microsoft Defender scanning. We can exclude certain files, folders, and processes from Microsoft Defender antivirus scanning. The exclusions will get applied to scheduled scans, on-demand scans, and always on real-time protection and monitoring. Please note that Microsoft Defender antivirus has a lot of built-in exclusion based on non-operating system behaviors. In case you are excluding files or folder path from scanning into Microsoft Defender in real-time monitoring, you first have to make sure that you are well known from that specific file or folder path which you are going to exclude from Microsoft Defender scanning. There must not be any malicious file or folder. There are several ways to set up the exclusion. We can use antivirus policy, a PowerShell script, and a device restriction policy to exclude a file or folder path from scanning into Microsoft Defender. In this video, we are going to use Microsoft Defender antivirus policy to set up the exclusion. First of all, you need to sign in into Microsoft Intune using a global administrator or Intune service administrator account. You can use this URL https colon double slash intune dot microsoft dot com. So now once we are in Intune, uh, let's go ahead and the first thing we are going to do here, create a group that we will assign to those specific devices that needs that specific path or folders to be excluded. I want to name it Defender Exclusions Devices Group, right? And we could add devices as a member into this group and we could also add the owner. So let's first create this group. Make sure that your devices are the part of this group. The devices which need the exclusion for specific files or folders should be member of the group that you will assign to Microsoft Defender exclusion policy. In the members, you can go to add members and here, for example, let's say I want to add this device. I will select this and I've added this device as a member of this group and I want specific file or folder to be excluded from scanning on this device. Uh, now let's go to PowerShell where I want to show you the command. Using that command, we could check the exclusion that is added into Microsoft Defender, right? So let's go to the start menu and for your explanation and understanding, run PowerShell as an administrator. And here I have this command to check whether there are any exclusion currently added into Microsoft Defender or no. So let's paste this command and click enter. And here we see the results that exclusion path is empty and we do not have any exclusions added to Microsoft Defender on this specific computer or a laptop. So once you have deployed exclusion from Microsoft Intune Admin Center, you would come back to that device which is getting synced and has assigned those exclusion. You can run this command to check those exclusion again. So let's go ahead and navigate to Microsoft Intune to set up the exclusion. Let's go ahead directly to endpoint security. In the endpoint security, please go to 
antivirus. In the antivirus section, click on create policy. In the platform, select Windows and in the profile type, we have this specific option that is Microsoft Defender Antivirus Exclusions. Once you have selected Microsoft Defender Antivirus Exclusions, you will get these details here. So let's click on create as we supposed to create this policy and add exclusions. Type a meaningful name for your exclusion policy as I have typed in Microsoft Defender Antivirus Exclusion Policy for Windows devices. Either those are Windows 10 or Windows 11. This will cover the both. Click next. Here it's saying that you need to configure at least one setting to proceed. Perfect. Now in the configuration setting, we have the options to exclude extensions, exclude paths, and exclude the processes. Excluded extensions allows an administrator to specify a list of file type extensions to ignore during scan. For example, we can use the sample path which you could see on the screen and also if you want to learn more about this you can go here on the exclamation sign and you can open this learn more microsoft blog to get detail about adding exclusion extensions or for the file type if you want to see in this demo i have an example to show you that we can exclude extension like this. I want to exclude example extension for an exe file, right? Let me see. Yeah, that's perfect. For testing purpose, we have excluded <coughs> the VLC exe file. Like if I want to exclude the VLC media player installation file from excluded in the section of excluded extension. Let's go to our Second example in the exclusion, we can add excluded path. In the excluded path section, that allows an administrator to specify a list of directory path to ignore during scan. Each path in the list must be separated by this specific sign that you are seeing on the screen. And if you want to enter the path here, you can enter like this right for example let's say in my c drive i want to exclude the specific path to be scanned by uh, this antivirus i could copy this path and i could paste this path here if it's only for one device but if you are setting up this policy for more than one devices, make sure all devices have these specific paths or have these specific extensions softwares. The next step, we could exclude the processes. Let's select excluded processes here. Let's click on add under the excluded processes here. And excluded processes allows an administrator to specify the list of files open by processes to ignore during scan. The process itself is not excluded from the scan, but can be by using defender exclusion pass policy to exclude its path. For example, if you want to see the example here, we can add the same exclusion path for VLC or any other software here and we can select that again i want to tell you that if you want to get more details about any of this processes you can go directly here and you can click on learn more that will open in detail blog of microsoft for your understanding and explanations let's we have selected all three options for this video tutorial excluded extensions excluded paths and excluded processes we are ready to click next now you can set up everything here according to your requirement again i am not defining any specific scope tags here and will be using the default one i'm going to click next 
in the assignment section we have to select that specific group we have created name defender exclusions devices group we have to select this group target type will be included if we want to exclude any specific group we can add that group and we can also exclude that group i'm not going to add assignment filter here right and i'm ready to click next at this point you can see all of these settings here and if you are 100 percent sure that you have set up everything perfectly including exclusion extensions path and processes if you need you can add only exclusion extension or if you need you can add only exclusion path or if you need you can add only exclusion processes at a single time as this video was to explain you so i have used all of these three settings to add exclusions now we are ready to save this policy and click on save it will take three or four seconds to save this policy let's go to endpoint security again and then we have to navigate again to antivirus and in the antivirus we can see our microsoft defender exclusion policy here and once this policy get propagated across the required devices we will get the detailed report here right and if we want to edit any of the setting related to this policy or if we want to update any exclusion or delete any exclusion we can go to configuration setting and we can directly edit this settings if needed later on so once this exclusion setting get propagated across your devices you will be able to see this exclusion pass added into your powershell like when this gets synced to your devices you can run the same command again and under exclusion path i am showing this image as an example that under exclusion path you will be able to see that exclusions will be added there right i have saved one more screenshot for you where you will be able to see any exclusion path or any exclusion file added on the computers where we have deployed this Microsoft Defender exclusions policy. So that's it about today's simple to the point and detailed tutorial on how to exclude files folders by adding a path into Microsoft Intune Defender policy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Take care. Bye.